Welcome back everybody to Classic Firearms. We are excited to get in today's video because we're going to be doing a lot of shooting. A lot. It's a lot of stuff on the table. A lot of stuff on the table we'll be talking about here in just a moment. I'm Clint. We've got Aaron with us today. Ladies and gentlemen. We've got Kaya. What's up guys? And we've got Jason. What's going on guys? Not to be confused. No. Alright, now, with that, it is going to get confusing because a lot of these guns are the same. Why? Because they're all just striker-fired full-size pistols. I mean, 9mm. I mean, there's nothing difference between, no difference between any of these guns whatsoever. Right, Jason? Psych. <laughs> I mean, the high point's going to perform just as well as the CZ. I'm excited about the high point. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's. All right, we want to get straight to the range because obviously we've got a lot of different guns to shoot here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and roll through these really quick. And I'm not going to remember all these off the top of my head, but we got uh, pretty much the flagship, the full size nine mm striker fired pistol that most manufacturers we could put all on one table, right? Some of these guns are the only hammer, or I'm sorry, striker fired nine millimeter pistol that the manufacturer has to offer. It might not be considered full size, but it's all they got. So let's just roll into it. Glock 17. Okay, basic, simple, works uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 9. We've got the SIG M17. Uh, what's this, Red APX 1? Okay. Uh, we've got the HK VP9. Uh, take it out. I, I can't see all those down there. So PDP, PDP yeah. the P15 from Caltech. Okay. Okay. Um, we've got that's... the Arex Delta, the yep. Hudson H9. Wow. Daniel Def wow. Yep. That's that is it's definitely not the Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> definitely the Daniel H9. <laughs> Sorry and about you're that. going great. <laughs> CZPS7. Yep, we've got the Steyr L9, Springfield Echelon. We've got uh, IWI Masada. Masada 509 from FN. This is the American Precision Firearms Speed, Speed. One, yep. right? Great. Uh, Canic TP9SF. Yep. Yeah. Yep, we've got the SAR9 Mate. We've got uh, Taurus TS9. Mm. Everybody, this is going to be the fan favorite, the Yeet, Yeet Cannon. Cannon. Yeet Cannon, <laughs> threaded barrel, mm, going all out with the YC9 over there. And then what's that little guy over the there? The Ruger American? Ruger American. Yeah. Again, all of these, strike fire, chambered 9mm, and we are going to be going to the range and running every last one of these. We are going to each give a grading scale on all of these. Are we doing like a 1 to 5, 1 to 10? What do you think? 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 1 to 10, 1 being we don't like it all. 10, yeah, we like that quite a bit. I don't think we need to do a, a category for each. I think we just need to do overall. And again, all of these guns have different features, things like that, that you might be looking for more specifics on. Let us know if you would like to see us cover a specific pistol. This is going to be a basic overview of basic function, uh, how the gun shoots, how it feels, and perhaps accuracy, because I think one close-up target, 100 yard, just for fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, is that right for everybody? The sights are on this time. Ah. Ah. Good old iron sights, too. Yeah, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> And if we just, I and you know, we'll just we'll just have a lot of fun shooting these guns at the range, and then giving some feedback towards the end of the video. So comment down below which one do you think is going to take the cake, and which one do you think is going to fall dead last? Uh, is it going to be unanimous across the board? Are we all going to have pretty similar rankings? Let us know what Doubt you guys it. think. I know. I doubt it too. I, There's no way. So we've all shot all of these pistols now. We've all at least run a mag through them. Yep. And uh, due to time, we had to start cutting some short. Sorry, guys. But uh, with that, let's go ahead and just kick this off with the Glock. Starting off with the Glock 17 Gen 5, Old Faithful, just reliable. Glock 17, basic, simple. My note simply was accurate, reliable. It does exactly what it needs to do. Nothing impressive. Uh, comfortable enough. I gave it a six. I have to agree with you. I gave it a seven. Because it's a Glock. Yeah. Okay. Glock. okay. Seven. So nobody can tell me I'm a Glock fan, but I love the Glocks. Yeah. But they got their shortcomings. Number seven. Seven. Yep. Solid seven. Solid seven. Okay. Yeah. So I was the right. little guy on that one. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Let's get to the best. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> SIG M17, Army's gun. Let's try this one. Actually, I was more surprised with the SIG and, and my performance personally with it. Um, light, I mean, it, it's a heavier pistol, so felt recoil is a little bit lighter. I, I, I guess we can all agree with that. Ergonomic, 
accurate. I was actually really afraid, uh, uh, afraid, uh, surprised that I managed to make contact with the distance target as many times as I did with that fat front sight, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is up there for me, like trigger pull ergonomics eight for me. I went nine. It's proven every time for me. And, you know, yeah. I'm a sick fanboy because you call me at this point in time. This yeah. I said it. You don't have to say it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I went nine on. Don't worry. The comment so. section will too. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they know. That's they right, Jason. I mean, Aaron. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did I went with six. Six what? Oh, for Sig. Okay. Because that grip is too fat for the M17, M18. Mm. I know Sig has different oh. modules, like uh, grip yeah. modules, right? Right, right. They're good. In small. this specific case. It's too fat for my hands, and my accuracy kind of suffered a little bit. So I'm going to say six. Oh, the grip was what made you? Grip, trigger, overall it was SIG, so six. Mm, gotcha. Okay, moving forward. Okay, well, I'm going to give it a seven. Um, okay. Shot good for me. It's repeatable, dependable. Good to go. So what did you so, have? You had eight? eight. So it's about a seven and a half okay. average here. All right. Okay, all right, cool. That's That seems fair for the SIG. Next up, we have the HK VP9. All right, we got the HK VP9. I'll tell you off the bat, I like the ergonomics, like the look. Got to like the HK vibe. And I love that little front sight on it. All right, so let's get some shooting done. Uh, comfortable. I like the sights. It's one of those guns where it's just like there's nothing much to really like write home about. Right. You know, it's comfortable. Like I said, it, I think it shoots pretty freaking good. Uh, I gave it a, a, a solid six. Yeah, I did the same. I agree with you on everything with that. I actually like that front sight. I do too. Um, it picks up nice and nice and really bright. Yeah, but uh, a six yeah. overall for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Dude, I gave it a five. In fact, oh. initially I was like, you know, it should be four. Oh, wow. like, you know what? You okay. Really? Okay. Because I almost didn't hit the target at all with it. Okay. And I thought it was a little snappy. Okay. So, and okay. the trigger, just overall five, man. Okay. I didn't have the Come best back two seconds, seconds yet. The reason I did go to the forgot about this, this right here. I Call the European I mag hate European mag rules. They do make the American yeah. Bravo. Right. But for this purpose of what we're shooting here, I do not, I dislike that heavily. I got to be honest with you. When I dropped the mag on that for the reload that I did, mm -hmm. it was actually a lot more fluid and efficient than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. And I might be becoming a fan of that mag release, which I didn't see myself ever doing. Yeah, my rating criteria had nothing to do with the uh, mag release button, overall mm -hmm. shooting experience. But yeah. Not the fat grip or anything like that either. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> For me, very ergonomic. Yeah. Comes op optics ready out of the box. The sight, front sight was definitely a good pickup. it's a solid six for me it was a little snappy yeah um but i know i do know that from the factory they do have kind of a breaking period i don't know if this gun has hit that one mm. mark yet but fyi so. i think also if we take into consideration these little bit heavier boys that we were shooting beforehand and then we get this little bit lighter vp9 yeah, yeah, so good. we've got kind of spoiled especially after going from the m17 which is yeah. definitely a heavier pistol you know I, I know i felt that way with a couple of others we talked about but uh moving on brother apx at the range eight shot pretty good let's find out over here this one just didn't really impress me um i didn't do that well with it i think it's kind of blocky and chunky and yes. I, for me it's a four fully agree uh, i did five blocky chunky and i'm not a fan of that trigger nah so. yeah 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 well, uh, by the way, I want to tell everybody who's watching this, we knew nothing about our each other's ratings. Right we did it several. So we're doing it right now. Yeah. Yeah, right now for for the first time, and it's crazy how close we are. Because I gave it a five two for very similar reasons. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a little chunky. It was overall, it was an okay shooting experience. Right. right. So it is chunky up top. The grip though on the front actually kind of feels good to my hand. Mm -hmm. um, I gave it a five, five and a half. Okay. Um, it's decent. The sides are less to be desired but i'm pretty sure somewhere in beretta's you know skunk works they can do that the trigger was okay and yeah five five yeah. five and a half I'm so. solid you gonna grab the uh, smith and wesson yeah hey guys we're gonna take a moment to interrupt this content to bring you a word from the sponsor of this video sonoran desert institute now of everyone at classic i've probably built the most guns myself and i know a lot of you guys out there like to work on and repair your guns at home as well if you're looking for a way to take that hobby to the next level sonora desert institute could help the online courses at SDI cover a broad range of topics, including armor certification, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and gun finishes, sports shooting management, and more. They even send 
tools and materials directly to your home so you can get hands-on training while you're covering this coursework. So if you're looking for a way to get an education that you could actually apply to your job or start a new career, definitely contact SDI at 480-999-4767 or visit sdi.edu. Smith & Wesson MMP9 2.0, one of my favorite guns. I should be very familiar with it. Let's find out how this is. So. I'm gonna surprise everybody yeah. here. But I, uh, oh, okay. I think we'll be on the same page. Yeah. It actually took me by surprise. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it felt pretty good. Trigger gritty, not that smooth. Uh, but I do like the sights on it quite a bit for an out-of-the-box gun. I, its reliability is great. But again, it's not for me anything much to really celebrate. So six. Uh, the grip wow. texture for me solid this was one of the best group textures on the table mm -hmm. um it stayed in your hand that palm swell might be the you know medium to chubby palm swell in the rear but it did it's jazz the high sights are good yeah and this honestly could go eight for me really yeah. Yeah. wow i yeah. went it shot very good so i went seven five look that what? surprised me also and my only downside is that trigger i don't like the trigger i love the grip yeah love the sights i mean it was fairly flat shooting for me so it, i was yeah. thoroughly surprised when it came to that so i went seven five on that one dude for me overall this gun right here was a 10. really really 10. Wow. i gave i normally like 10. wow it shot i mean feels incredible in the hand it when does. i shot it i was on that target every round bang 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 the sewing machine it was amazing man yeah sights are awesome the recoil impulse great trigger for what it is a defensive gun duty gun just overall smith yeah. holy crap yeah. i actually Ten sincerely percent. i was just saying that you Aaron. I'm gonna buy one of these. I think yeah. I want to run one of these yeah. as my primary. So, yes. ten. Wow. Yeah, ten. All right. Yeah. Solid. Well, we we got some vastly different opinions yeah. on yeah. the Smith and Wesson there, because okay. like I said, I shot it. I do, I do agree with the grip texture and everything. Really aggressive. I'm not slipping off like I did on some of the other ones, uh, but I just didn't feel like I yeah. fell in love with it after shooting it. So, uh, that's that. CZP10F. I like that stippling. CZ P10F, and uh, for me, I don't have a lot of experience with this pistol. Uh, I shot it, I ran it, I liked it a lot. It felt great, everything that I'd really want. Nice aggressive grip texture as well. A lot of room for grip. Uh, I, I sights picked up great. It tracks very well. It yes. tracks very well. Yeah, tracks very I well. felt very confident with it, and this is a solid eight for me. Yeah. I have to agree with you. I went 7.5 on it. Again, everything that you just said was 100% correct. Flat shooting. You know, I love it, honestly. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. I went straight 10. <laughs> two 10s. I have two 10s on my list, guys. Wow. So, That's spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert. Ten. I have yeah. zero 10s on my yeah. list. <laughs> 10. I was utterly impressed. First of all, it feels incredible in the hand. Yep. Just when you grab it, it's great. Low bore axis. Sights are incredible. You were yes. able to track it, like you said. Yep. And I was honored every time. It was okay. incredible. What and especially right after Smith, I was like, "Holy crap, this is incredible!" Mm -hmm. And I got the CZ. I was like, "Oh my God, what's going on here?" Yeah. yeah. So these two guns utterly impressed me. Uh, I really loved it. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go with a solid eight for this one. Um, the reason why I did eight, if it was optics ready, it would definitely be a nine mm -hmm. in my book. Um, like everybody said, these mags getting like getting the mags in, the mag ejection, everything's positive. The trigger is phenomenal to me. I know we all talk about different yeah. triggers. I like a good reset that's crisp so you can get right back there on that wall and yeah so, so shooting experience is a nine for you because red dot is the one that cut a point right correct yeah correct yeah. So. yeah but yeah awesome shooting gun yeah, i okay. yeah so we all we all like the cz yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. we all yeah, like the cz good. all right okay uh moving on we've got the springfield echelon here we have the springfield echelon a little new contender
good. I, and I guess I probably got, I mean, cause it's, it's a little bit lighter. I think I got pretty spoiled right after shooting the CZ that shooting this gun. And I was like, the hell is this recoil? Yeah. Right? Cause it felt super snappy to me. And so I definitely docked at a couple of points for that. But having shot it in the past, just shooting it alone, I'm like, oh, that feels really, really good. Yeah. Right? So I'm taking that into consideration too. But for me, overall, um, make sure I'm reading the right one. Felt good recoils more than the others. I like it at a seven. I have to agree with you on that one. So I put it at, uh, let me make sure I this right, the seven also. I was like seven uh, and a half? Or? Uh, no, I went seven. <laughs> seven on that one. Um, at first, because, again, I could jump into your box also, is that I, if I didn't shoot it before, I would have said it's a little bit chunky and a little bit snappy, but trigger was great. I like the feel. Like the grip. I like a little bit more of a fat grip. Uh, I have a little bit bigger band, so I have to agree with you. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Overall, let's bring you a special out. Obviously, I literally run one mm -hmm. right here. Fantastic gun for what it is, a gun for what it is that just came out, right? It's not really proven yet. I give it a seven. Yep. To me, it feels really good in the hand, but I feel like, especially compared to the Smith, the balance wasn't there. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little snappy and whatever, but you just kind of feel it, that tracking sights, mm. kind of I was a little bit all over the place compared to Smith, so it's seven for me. There it is. Again, um, piggyback on what everybody else said ergos here are fine especially this slot or spot for your thumb as i did find out that natural that, that was a natural okay. point and yeah. i think they did very well with that um other than that the trigger is eh, okay it's decent uh, not the greatest it, it does come optics ready out of the box the sights are a okay i'd rather they do a re weird um blackout on the rear but and this mag button, or not mag, the slide lock yeah. and slide release, they need to re-engineer that completely. It will literally slice you every time. Mm -hmm. A little bit of material going down will save your thumb a long way. But other than that, I give it a six. It, it, it did okay for me. Yep. So. Fair enough. Next up, we've got the Walther PDP. Uh. Walther PDP. I had higher expectations. I yeah. did too. Okay, I had higher expectations with the PDP. I really thought I was gonna love shooting this gun, but it just didn't, it wasn't there for me. Hmm. Um, heavier recoil, you know? <laughs> I mean, granted it's a, it's a light, lighter gun, but man, the recoil on this. And then I started to lose grip. Yeah. And it's got a decent grip texture. Yeah. I, I, get, I think, I don't know what it is. Something up here needs to be done. Yeah. Something. Something, Something. Yeah. put your thumb on it yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Dude, I yeah. literally, my grip, and I had to readjust at some point. Um, the trigger and everything, not bad, but nothing to write home about. Uh, but this has felt like a basic okay pistol to me, and I, I honestly rated it lower than a Glock. It's a five for me. Five. Okay, yeah. so I went six. Again, I had high expectations too. I have not shot this gun yet. Um, I definitely wish it was a little more weighted. Not yeah. Add some more weight to it. Um, the pluses that it could have added if it had a little bit better front and rear sights. That yeah. could have definitely done something for it. And I have to agree with you too. I have to add a little bit more back. Here. Felt like it's a little bit better. That would probably have done a whole lot more for it. When it came to shooting and more than anything. All right, so for me, straight up, five. I thought, in fact, before we shot this gun, I thought, guys, I think this is going to be one of my top guns. Because yeah. the trigger felt incredible. I was like, wow, this is really good and felt really good in the hand. But Walther, this gun is not really balanced, man. Yeah. It's not. It needs to be retuned. It's super snappy for what it is. I was taken by a surprise. You would think for the size of the gun, you would have a little bit smoother recoil Absolutely. action, but I felt like, yeah. yeah. That recoil spray, I mean, it needs to be retuned. It's just too snappy, so it wasn't fun. Just like everybody else said, the grip back here, or the grip on actual frame is good. It need you gotta have something here. There's nothing to rest your thumb on, nothing to rest. Even if you try to go over or try to go over the front, it's just not comfortable. Um, I think they can redeem themselves with the steel frame version of this, yes. give you that little extra 100%. weight. Yep. And I think that would be a different contender for this one. Yeah. Other than that, out of the box, the trigger is one of the greatest on the table. Yeah. I mean, truly, the sights are trash. Absolute <laughs> trash. So um, yeah, please try again. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a five for me. So. Got it. So it's so funny, we got all five, except yeah. you got six, right? right? Six, yeah. Yeah, okay. that is funny. All right, Koenig, TP9SF, always been a fan of Koenig. Love the shots, love the trigger. Uh, so let's uh, speed it up a little bit, see how we do with this one.
sorry, just because Canic, I had high expectations, uh, probably too high. I actually wasn't all that impressed with the the TP9 SF. That's probably because I've been spoiled with the SFX and the and the yeah. like the Rival S still frame stuff. You know what I mean? Which feels really really good. The trigger is always great on these guns. Yeah. Almost. I argue almost sometimes almost too good because I'll go from something that has a heavy trigger and then all of a sudden, oh, I'm taken by surprise, you know, and then especially for like a carry gun, something like yeah. that. Uh, but ultimately, I thought I'd do better than what I did with it. Also, uh, maybe I was relying too much on the gun and not focusing on the fundamentals like I should have because I did have those high expectations. But for me, it just performed OK. It's getting a six. OK, I went. Seven and a half. I've shot with Canic for a You're while. You're seven and a half. I have to go seven and a half. I got to be that guy sometimes. I um, went with the seven and a half. I like the Canix, honestly. Um, I think it's flat shooting. I think it's a good shot. I just wish these sights would be a little bit different, but the trigger is money. I love the trigger. Yeah. Right? yeah. So I gave it a seven and a half. For me, it's a seven as well. So the reason for that is I was pretty accurate with it. I've always said it before. I don't like this like triangle, almost like Beretta, like mm -hmm. narrowing down sights. Yeah. Okay. Just not a big fan of that. Wait till we talk about the Steyr. Oh, jeez. Oh, we'll, we'll get there <laughs> yeah. for sure. That's for sure. But we're overall, the still though, <laughs> you know, yeah. still I like Canix. They shoot well. I, I like agree. these guns. I agree. And uh, feels pretty good in the hand too. So it's number seven for me. I was pretty accurate with it. Yep. So. Ergos on this gun are good. Um, mag gets out of there when you need it to. Trigger on this is just. To me, it's, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's the greatest trigger. Um, I I didn't like how it was a little bouncy at first, but I mean, to me, honestly, it gets about a six. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just average run in the middle. Yeah, so. right. Yep. Perfect. Uh, next up, another Turkish contender, uh, the SAR 9. SAR Firearms, SAR 9. I'm very familiar with the gun. Don't like the external safety, but let's give it a try. I mean, last time you were here, we ran the SAR, right? Like right. I said, last time, like when you were here with SAR, it was almost two years ago, two which years is ago. crazy to yeah. think about. Yeah, um, this really took me by surprise. I'm telling and you, man. It's been a while since we've shot uh, a SAR yeah. 9 again, and it took me by surprise again. I was very accurate with it. The reload was, was nice. It was clean. Um, everything about it, I really like the resistance I actually get with the trigger. When I think about like a duty gun, something like that, or a carry yeah. gun, I, I really like that resistance that I get, and then that that nice subtle break. I I I, I appreciate it, and uh, for me, it's just good old seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay, I went eight with it because I was on the same page. I was surprised. Yeah. I had low. I can't even say low expectations, but not really too much of an expectation out of this. I haven't shot a SAR before. I like the feel. It actually has a Smith and Wesson feel to it too. Yeah. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Um. Again, my. Hiccup sights. I would love mm. that did a little bit different with the sights. Um, I don't know, maybe some suppressor height sights also would help out a little bit. But overall, I gave it eight. I was thoroughly surprised, and I liked the way it shot also. Yeah. What about you, Jason? Um, for the other Turkish Delight, um, it was good. It was good. I really liked it. Um, the trigger was actually, just like you said, it was heavy up front, but it, it was predictable in the back end and right. just was repeatable altogether. I'd say it had a little HK VP9 grip kind of feel to it but it's got the it's hkvp9 glock dna yeah it, 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 it was, yeah just but, like the canix got the walter dna yeah know? but it's good it yeah. feels good in hand track very well the sights are trash um it is what it is but um other than that yeah i'd say solid seven yeah for sure so i went with uh, uh seven with this one and because i don't like this external safety and anybody at saw or anybody who knows me mm -hmm. i've always talked about i'm not a big fan of external safety um if it didn't have the external safety i'd probably go with eight yeah and the reason for that is and i'm a little bit more experienced with sars because i've shot tens of thousands no, of rounds no, through because no. i used to <laughs> work with them right right but i don't have to like i i give this gun to people and people shoot pretty they, accurately they, they do well it's with it. very accurate well with it. yeah. yeah so oh even over here just grabbed it and bam 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 just ring the steel with this thing and if sar is watching this i want the sar 9 socom so, oh, yeah. so yes that gun is so good dude i'd love to if i had that thing over here I'd probably got a 10 for me but yeah. all right so we got next Anyways, yeah seven as you can see by my face this is the lovely daniel defense h9 not to be confused with the hudson h9 <laughs>
the Daniel H9, ultimately I think it feels pretty good in the hands. I, I do like the way it feels. I would expect with the all metal frame, low bore access, uh, a little bit less snappy recoil. It does feel a little snappy. And then the reason I ranked it pretty low also is because uh, I, I had that hiccup. I had that hiccup that I've been having with this gun with that failure to feed um, and uh, adequately chamber. You guys haven't been having it as much. Uh, the one time it happened to me though was with the reload and I used the slide release. Mm, okay. uh, because of that, it's getting a five for me. Okay. I got a group five. you know, five and we go the same way. I actually like the grip. I like, like yeah. I said, that dovetail. I, no, that part I'm, I'm that a big fan of. Ergonomically, yeah. I like it, but I had such high expectations with this gun, honestly, and it did not suit me for what it was. Uh, love the front sight, great. Other than that, I'm going with the five also. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so for me, this gets a seven. And okay. the reason for that is I haven't had any of those uh, hiccups. Yeah. Luckily, right? When I look at the gun, it's a good looking little gun. I just wish the grip was a little longer or you had the extended mags. Yeah. So it kind of fits better in my hand. It is snappy, it comes back violently. Yeah. But because of the low bore axis, it's very manageable. You know, it goes right back on target. I just had a little trouble with the sights, but overall, I thought it was a decent shooting experience. Got to get used to that trigger. Oh, the trigger, yeah. I yeah. even to comment on that. I'll let it's, Jason It's a little that. weird. So, <laughs> seven. All right. So let me start this off by saying this gets a five, even though, like, I track very well on it. I don't like the trigger. It's absolute trash. Trash. There you go. Um, I was going to use a more colorful active, but no. See, the trigger didn't bother me as much, but it does have a weird reverse... Yeah, it's uh, the, nat the natural fulcrum point of a trigger, especially since your finger's going in, is down center? low or in the center. Why would you reinvent the up wheel there. up top? Don't know. Is that it creates... because it tracks straight back and there's no but hinge? Still, yeah. though, even if you do, like, your finger naturally wants to go down to the bottom of the yeah. well right here. So I don't know what this is about. Does it maybe yeah. help not take up? take up i don't know the sights are great other than that it needs to be longer it is not made for my hands whatsoever and for that um the h9 is definitely a five also. i would i would think the daniel h9 if they come out with like a tactical model yeah. larger frame more more capacity yeah. maybe maybe we'll be rocking it all in. all right fn 509 uh love the feel let's get it done FN 509 took me by surprise. Bro, I was, I was prepared to not be nice to this gun. Uh, me too. I had uh, a mindset that was not in its favor, but ultimately, I as I, I put in my notes, I usually rag on this gun pretty hard, but I was really impressed with the overall feel, performance, sights, uh, even though they're just standard black, you know, nothing like that. Uh, it felt really, really good. It's, it's a seven for me. Dude, seven? Yeah. This thing was another ten. When I, no, <laughs> I have tens of dollars. I'm I'm being pretty pretty mean right now. Yeah. I know. dude. This when I first saw this guy, I was like, oh, FM with the 509 terrible trigger, whatever. It's probably gonna be a five. I shouldn't even shoot it. That's what I told myself. When I shot it, I couldn't believe how well it shot. So nine, nine. Wow. Nine, dude. I'm gonna go with a nine with Kai also. It actually surprised the hell out of me. Yeah. I like the sights. Even though, like you said, they are just plain black, I actually yeah. like the sights yeah. a lot. It shot a lot flatter than I thought it was going to shoot. Um, trigger yeah. I actually didn't have too much of an issue with. Um, I think they could do a little bit better with that. But mm -hmm. other than that, I mean, it shot a whole lot better than yeah. I thought it was going to yeah. do. Yeah, I was expecting a four from me, and here we are. You know, so. <laughs> it feels good in the hand. Yeah, and yeah. when I say it feels good in the hand, it swells up just perfectly well. Um, the grip texture is phenomenal. The trigger was actually very much so pause the trigger is actually very pronounced and crisp right there where it needed to be the sights i uh, could have done with a little something on the front but other than that they'll pause you'll fix yeah that. just a little, yeah a little something to fix it it comes optic ready out of the box and it was very predictable and repeatable so yeah, yeah it's gonna get a, a good seven no actually eight there it is eight. Oh, okay. nice. all right so yeah <laughs> very good Jason's uh, eight is like 12 for me <laughs> yeah right <laughs> iwi masada it's pretty good feels kind of smooth though just say. Huh. Oh, he said as far as that. So 
what happened there, real quick to explain that, their reset is so far out that I wasn't getting the reset. So I was getting the shot, breaking the shot, I wasn't getting the full reset. I mean, good shooting gun, it's just a long reset on that trigger. I didn't really have much to think about with this, but I will say this, that trigger caught me off guard. Heavy and <laughs> brakes on the front end, oh my God. That was the one I had the issue with, right? Yeah. Yeah, this thing, uh, long reset yes. too, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, it caught me by surprise, wasn't that big of a fan, five. Yeah, I'm going four. That trigger I did not like at all. Yeah. At first I thought something was wrong with the gun. I kept looking at Ryan like, what the hell's wrong with this gun? But it was that long reset that yeah. threw me off a little bit. Um, basic sights, basic grip, like I said, a four. Yeah. Oh, okay, I gave it a five. I was like, you know what? It's an okay gun. Nothing crazy. The trigger was okay. The yeah. recoil was okay. Sights are obviously... Say it? Trash. Trash. <laughs> so, like, you know what? Five. Yeah. I will say this, the gun does feel kind of good in hand. They need to do something about the texture on the front end and around the sides um, because it feels like it slips a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit much because especially if you got nothing up here and it's slipping back here, that's a double whammy. Um, but other than that, it's going to get a four. Yeah. It's the, the okay. I don't know what it is. It's maybe the spring, maybe it be, might be, it's just kind of all over the place for me. But yeah, it gets a four. Steyr L9 looks like something from the future. Nice triangle sights. The gun looks really cool. Let's see if it actually shoots as good as it looks. And these sights. Trigger's not terrible on the take up, on the reset, and there's not one. I noticed that really quick. There's not a, there's not a reset. The sights are terrible. I can't tell where to aim, maybe with training, maybe over time. Overall, I, I just did not like this gun. It's gonna get a uh, solid four for me. Yeah, I gave it a three. I'm gonna this one. I gave it a three. I don't like the boxes. It looks like a Robocop gun to me, like triangle things going on. Yeah. I hated every bit of that. Yeah. Um, the trigger, wasn't impressed with it at all. Like I said, I gotta give it a three overall when it comes to that. Three, okay. Well, I gave it a four. Yeah. Cause now I, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I know you don't like the looks of it. I think it looks good. It looks nice and futuristic, cool. However, I don't know, did you guys ever see, I know Jason is like, what's going on? Did you guys ever, did you guys see the uh, sights on camera? Look at the sights. They're, Hello, uh, Stargate called and said they want their gun back. Yeah. Robot. Right. You know, that's what it is, but oh, looks really good. Shoots. Not so good. So, four. All right, on to the next one. All right. All right. So, it's what's that one? It's a not even place. It's trash. Not Absolute even one. 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 Will you if take, I, high, if will I you take to, high point over it? I will take a high point over it. Oh, wow. Seriously. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's talk about that because we got things coming up over there. Shit. All right. I uh, wasn't <laughs> expecting that. All right, Taurus TS9, the Brazilian special. I do like Brazil, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what they got to offer. This one, just no. Uh, this is a this is a two. Two. Yeah, this is a two for me. Uh, I, I, I just did it, not like that gun. Yeah, I gave it a four. Um, I had a little bit more to grab onto. I hate this trigger guard. Yeah. My freaking knuckle kept getting like jammed up yeah. in it. I didn't like that at all. Um, other than that, yeah, I gave it a four. And I hate these trashy. Yeah. Shirts. You and I are again about the same. Number four for me. It was just an okay gun, a little bit snappy, but you know, trigger was okay. Just everything was okay with it. Yeah. But when, when I look at it, it just looks, it's, un, it's unimpressive, but yeah. cheap. Yeah, it's, that's just gonna looks like that's that the to price me. point. Go that trigger for everybody really quick. Cause that's what ultimately sold Super me Super crunchy. Terrible. It's, it's like terrible. there's sand in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it feels like it's, yeah, riding on sandpaper. I will say this. The recoil impulse of this gun is actually very decent. It's that, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's why that's it's got a two. It. That's why it's got um, a two and not a yeah. one. <laughs> Other than that, I'm gonna put this at about a two. Um, you get what you pay for. Yeah. 
and that's about it. Um, it's not particularly good at anything. It just does what it does. Not that's so actually good. a good point too, because yeah. price point wise, I mean, these are a lot, obviously, yeah. uh, lower in the value. So, of course, you get what you pay for. It's yeah. Ruger American. Looks good. Feels pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Surprised me. It surprised all of us. I think it surprised all of us yeah. with actually how good this gun felt. Uh, my notes are it feels top heavy, decent trigger pull, long reset, nothing to write home about, but it beat my low expectations and uh, it's sitting out of five for me. So oh. I'm going with a seven five on this one. Wow. Surprise, it surprised the hell out of me. Wow. 100%. Mm -hmm. I like that it's top heavy. Yeah. I like a heavier gun, so it shoots a lot flatter for me. Yeah. So I was able to speed that up. Trigger can use a little work, that's where it uh, takes away from there. But I like the grip and it, honestly, I gave it a 7.5 because it surprised me how well it shot. Yeah. Yeah. So I gave it a 6. It shot well. Yeah, this guy was going to be a 3 a for hot. me. And so there you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I gave it a 6. Yes. Top heavy, but it was very manageable. And I like these sights. Okay. They're three dot white mm. sights, right? But they're not a small, triangle. Not exactly. A triangle. Not a triangle. After shooting the star, we're like, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. But small dots. And yeah. I thought they were very easily trackable. Overall, it felt really good. And the magazine, button, everything just overall felt decent. Anyway, this gun got a six for me. I thought I was gonna give it like three. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Right. Right. I'm gonna rate this at a five. And the only reason why I say five is because the trigger is absolute doo doo. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's absolute doo doo. Uh, other than that, I mean, the sights are trash, but other, it feels good in the hand. And these are changeable back straps too. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that. So you can you can definitely get, make it a little bit fatter, a little bit wider. Uh, the texture up here is okay. It slips right here on the side. It is that hard plastic that is like slippery as hell. But other than that, yeah, five. High point, Yeet Cannon. That's nice. It's the only gun will survive that fucking rip. Fine, I'll shoot it. Fine. Okay, nobody cry. Got this. Yep. Oh, oh. Shoot. <laughs> well, maybe I should clean it first. <laughs> Fine, we're gonna shoot it. And this is in Demo Ranch. We're not clogging ye cannon, so I'm gonna shoot it. Let's see how this is. All right. It's not even an ex. That's that's a live round. It's trying to tell you something, Clay. You hold it the wrong way. Oh no. Next time I show you how to really hold that gun. No, it's just just you, you got your turn. I'm trying to save the round. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, what you want to do? Let me show you real quick. No, just one, one hand. There you go. Now you're good. With both hands like this? However you want to do it at this point, as long as you got the kill shot. I missed the berm. That's normally how it happens. <laughs> There's only one way to shoot you. Trying to hit the target. Well, that's fun. Literally. Oh, hit target. Fuck his god. Roll up on my block and let that forty bang. Okay. There it is! Got it in his blood, people. <laughs> blood! <laughs> Pretty sure you got one more round of that thing. What's it? Let it go. Let's just skip. Go. Can we just throw it away? Is that this, a is, this is the one when I started to shoot. First of all, you can't try the sights, or I, you barely hit anything. I was surprised I hit the one distance shot. I couldn't believe that happened. And here's my note. shooting the right way. <laughs> I've set a surprise up. <laughs> uh, the high point YC9, the mean value is more of a reason to own than the actual shooting experience. Malfunctions, very hard to read sights, surprise to hit the distance target once. Uh, it's going to be a one for me. I gave it a one because it shoots bullets out of it. Next. Oh, I'm just... There you go. <laughs> I gave it a two because it shot without any malfunction for me. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give it a two because after I turned and shot it the correct way, I actually got a hit. So <laughs> kudos to you, the Steyer, that can burn in hell for all I care about. Everybody was um, trading a high point. Yeah. Come see me. Yeah, <laughs> Yee Cannon gets a two for me. So average one five on that one. Yep. All right, great. So that way, that one's the king right now. Yeah. All right, we've got the Speed um, American Precision Firearms. I actually like the look of this, the two-tone. And those sights actually look fairly good too. All right, let's see what it does. Okay, uh, next up we've got the APF Speed, That's which surprising. after shooting the high point, I think we were all really impressed with it. Sure. If we were to have shot it after one of the, the SIG or something like that, we'd have been like, okay, it's fine. Yeah. Maybe, right? So uh, the Speed, I really like the precise sights. I like those quite a bit. I think there's actually too much margin for error on the rear sight though. I noticed that I had a lot of space on either side of the front sight post and I was like, if I can narrow up the rear sight, I think I might like that a little bit more. Uh, felt good to shoot, really nice trigger, strange looking, it's a six. I gave it a six also. I felt competition gun out of this, man. Yeah. Honestly. And the weight of it was beautiful. I like the weight. The Dude. longer um, the barrel and everything. It is slide. the lowest bore axis strike and fire gun out there, man. It it's is. It's insane. Yeah. It shoots Probably real good. Here. Out here. 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 Not out there. there. Out here. <laughs> oh, yeah, out here. But uh, is there any other strike and fire gun that actually has a lower bore, a bore axis? Lago Alien. The Alien. Alien? Well, that's not even, that's something different. Yeah. That's, is that even a handgun? That's yeah. something dead. <laughs> but anyways, uh, <laughs> I give it a seven because it shot super flat, very easily trackable, sights are awesome, trigger is great, feels good in the hand. Yeah. The magazine button, trash. the release button, just trash. Trash. Horrible. And I don't know what this pin is, like the takedown pin. It just keeps moving back and forth. Yeah, a little, it needs some work, mm -hmm. but it's a good gun. I don't think they could have cut out any more spots on here to make the... Yeah slide or t track faster but uh it definitely tracks good the trigger is decent it could use a polish job like i said that button right here needs to be redone reworked somebody needs to do something on it it literally digs into your finger yeah. every time you press it no matter how you press it too so yeah. um other than that i'm gonna give it a five yeah mm -hmm. because it's meh meh yeah. all right a rex delta x it's kind of feels a little toyish honestly to me but um it's got that futuristic look well, let's see what it does in the chamber just a uh it was a dead trigger <laughs> all right so light it's light it's extremely light it's extremely light uh trigger feels okay during the take up but very clicky once it breaks i mean it's like can can you show that just like pull the trigger it's like clunk and okay anybody in the comment section right yeah, now yeah, anybody who's watching nice. this video if you've shot a 10 millimeter handgun one of the old ones that's what that that's it. Like. That's how it feels. The like. recoil is nuts for a nine millimeter yeah. pistol. This is the only gun that gets a half point for me. It's a two and a half. Two and a half. Oh. Yeah, it's a two and a half. Only because it actually doesn't feel like too bad to hold. It actually yeah. feels like all right, pretty good, ergonomic. Like a, a, a carry gun, yes. But with that recoil and everything, dude, there's there's micro compacts that recoil less than this gun. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with the two. I'm not gonna say too much more than what yep. you said. It's kind of the same. Two. I don't have to say anything. Super super snappy. Extremely snappy. I will say. I think this is the lightest gun on this table. Yeah. Uh, it has to be. Yeah. And if they just give it a little bit more um, up front, I think it'll be able to tame this a little bit more because I do like this cut here. It looks good, like conception wise, it's great. It's just, it's too light and extremely snappy. So I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah. Yeah. Keltec P15, definitely the, the weird one. Okay. Oh, good Lord. So I gotta press the back of it a little bit more. Did it die? The, the battery died. <laughs> what the? It's loaded. Indicator says there's a round in there. 
And when I do a press check, there's a round in there. But the trigger is dead. I mean, let me try it again. Oh, shit, okay. And uh, last, last one, and definitely least, is the uh, Keltec P15, which when you talk about weight, it might just be because this is a weight's more evenly distributed. They feel the same. They feel very, very similar. When you look at the size of this, you're like, what the hell is going on then? Uh, this gun was not at all fun to shoot. Uh, this this was not. It, it, yeah, I, yeah I, I feel that. Yeah. The P15 sucked. Um, sorry, guys at Caltech. I think you guys could do better. Um, this this is a one and a half. Sorry, the, I, I I did have a two, but remembering back on it now, it's a one and a half. I'm gonna go with a two. I wish that they had a little bit more here to grab onto. It at least save me a little bit. That that kind of helps. Yeah, that's uh, that's the high point, mate. Oh, that's uh, that one then. Yeah, that one. We'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had more. That's I mean, the reason I'm giving that a whole pink half a palm sitting out there, yeah. and it would have given me something more to hold on. The only reason I gave it to, I like those sights. Yeah, I do like those sights a lot. Yeah. Other than that, that's all I got for it. Well, I gave it a one, and Keltec, I love you guys. You guys got some awesome stuff. This ain't it. This is not it. And the reason <laughs> I gave it a one, this safety back here, because to me, I I need to press a trigger. It needs to go bang. So the reason this is getting bang, uh, one is. My hand, for some reason, wasn't pressing that trigger fully, even though I have, I feel like I have the gun. I had a dead trigger, good. too. I, yeah. I had that dead trigger happen. Yeah, also. that trigger multiple times. I was like, now it's fine. I don't know. I had that problem, and that kind of scared me. With that being said, it's getting a one. Go. So. I placed it down. It gets a one. <laughs> it gets a one. It gets a one. It there you have, guys. It doesn't have triangle sights. It doesn't have triangle <laughs> sights. So at least it doesn't get just half a point. Right. Yeah. All right. So... We were not all that nice here today, I don't think. But at the same time, if you're going to be spending your hard-earned money on something that could potentially be used in a life-threatening situation, well, I think we'd like to all be transparent about how we feel about a lot of these yeah. products. So let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think we were a little unfair? Do you think any of us were biased? I don't think so, because there are some guns that you guys probably thought I was going to absolutely love that I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, some that caught me by surprise. I think all of us. Yeah. So let us know, comment section, what do you think our ratings were? Or like do you agree disagree indifferent do you think some guns should be on the uh, table that aren't yeah. that you would like to see or do you want more information would you like to see a more in-depth review on any one of these certain guns and think maybe if you guys spend a little bit more time with it you'll actually learn to love it like the remington r9 cool i'm absolutely kidding okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> I, I was like are you telling us are you still okay all right Whew, thought he was serious for a second. <laughs> All right, so comment section lighted up from there. Don't forget to head on over to cfcontest.com because who doesn't love some uh, free? Yeah, yeah, free we could, stuff. We, we could say that. <clears throat> All right, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you later. Stay safe. Eat your veggies. I was going to say something, but I can't curse. Wash your ass, people. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash your ass. <laughs> wash or wash it? Wash, wash your ass. <laughs>